So in one of our last lessons, we discussed how to add fractions when they have like or the same denominators. So life isn't always that easy. Sometimes we have fractions that have different denominators. So here, here are two ways that you can tackle that. Let's look at the first example on the left. So the first thing you want to do is get a common denominator. It could be any common denominator. So let's do the simple way. We are just gonna multiply both of those denominators together to get a common denominator. Five times 15 is 75. So what we are going to do is transpose these, get a, a, a similar fraction, but with 75 in the denominators. If we do that, then we can add straight across, not a problem. So to get from five to 75, we multiplied by 15. So we're gonna do the same thing to the numerator. Three times 15 is 45. To get from 15 to 75 in this denominator, we multiplied by five. So we are going to multiply the numerator also by five and we get 35. Now we can add straight across. We're gonna get something over 75. 45 and 35 is 80. 80 over 75 is an improper fraction. So we might want to write that as one and five seventy fifths. But five seventy fifths is not reduced. So we want to simplify that. We can divide both the numerator and denominator by five, and we get one and one fifteenth. Now a better way to do it, that 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 is the, probably the quickest way to do it. But then your denominators can get pretty huge. So let's look at this expression: three fourths plus three tenths. What we're going to do is get the least common denominator. So the number isn't going to be so huge, but we have to do a little bit to get there. What we are first going to do is start listing our multiples of each of our denominators. So for four, we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. Let's see if we can just that. And then for 10, we have 10, 20, 30, 40. Then we're going to look to see if where the first common number occurs. And it occurs when we got to 20 on each of them. So we are going to convert each of these fractions to 20. To get from 4 to 20, we're multiplying by 5. So we're going to do the same thing with the 3. 3 times 5 is 15. To get from 10 to 20, we are multiplying by 2. So we will do the same thing. Three times two is six. Now that becomes a nice problem. 20 in the denominator, 15 plus six is 21. 21 twentieths is an improper fraction. So we will convert that to a mixed number. One and one twentieth. There's how to add or subtract fractions with different denominators.